Welcome to Seller 365. Whether you're brand new to selling on Amazon or just getting started with Inventory Lab, this video has everything you need to know to hit the ground running. We'll cover how to connect your Amazon seller account, upload your buy costs in bulk, source profitable products, list and ship your items, and track your numbers, all in one place using Inventory Lab. Here's how to get started. Once logged into your Inventory Lab account, you'll see a prompt asking you to connect your Amazon seller account. This is done through Amazon Selling Partner API. When you're prompted, simply click OK and you'll be directed to Amazon Seller Central. Next, you'll sign in using your Seller Central login credentials. You will be brought to a screen where you can review and agree to authorize Inventory Lab's access to data from your seller account. Make sure the check mark is selected and click Confirm. Once you've agreed, Amazon will handle the authorization and you'll be redirected back to Inventory Lab. And that's it, your Amazon seller account is now connected. Now that your Amazon account is connected, it's a good idea to start optimizing your settings. This will help save you time and reduce errors later on. Let's quickly highlight what you can customize. Under the General tab, you can pick your entry point, enable product alerts, customize your notifications, add suppliers, set up custom MSKUs, default your purchase dates, and add custom research shortcuts. The Printing tab is where you configure your thermal label printer. Under Calculations, enter Scouting Profit Calculator defaults and an FBA inbound shipping rate. In research, set up your desired ROI and rank thresholds. The list tab lets you manage your ship from address, customize your condition notes, enable the total cost calculator, set up auto pricing, select box contents defaults, remember last entry, and enable capacity limits. For accounting, you can add income and expenses categories and manage disposition settings. If you want to integrate with a repricer, you can do so under integrations. And if you're subscribed to Insights, be sure to check the custom restock report settings. It's important to take time to go through each section. So take a few moments and go through your settings. Setting these up in advance will make all the difference. Next up, let's talk about entering your buy costs in bulk, a crucial step for accurate profit tracking. This part is really important. When entering your buy cost, make sure to do so in the FBA or merchant inventory pages and not the sales pages so they seamlessly filter into all of your reports. Here's how to update your buy costs. Go to the inventory, FBA, or merchant pages. Click the three stacked dots and choose export inventory data. Open the exported file and update the buy cost. You can also add the supplier and purchase date. Return to your inventory page in Inventory Lab. Click the three stacked dots and choose import inventory data. Click browse and select your updated file. Click Validate to match the file's fields to Inventory Lab's required fields. Click Process File. If everything looks good, you'll see a green Review Complete message. If any issues pop up, you'll get a red message and can correct them individually or in bulk. Once all issues are resolved, click Complete and Review to apply all the updates. Once your buy costs are added, this information will filter into all of your reports, giving you a clear view of your accounting. Inventory Lab gives you powerful built-in tools so you can always make smart sourcing decisions wherever you shop. You'll get access to Scoutify 2, our mobile app for sourcing on the go, ScoutX, which is our browser extension for Amazon.com, and Scout, which is our desktop tool for deep product analysis. In this example, we're going to cover Scout. To get started, hover over Research and click Scout. Enter a product title, ASIN, UPC, or SBN. Then click Search. You'll see search results showing the product title, number of offers, ranking category, ASIN or parent ASIN, and product alerts. Click a product line to view details. If the product has variations, click Select Variations to choose the child ASIN. On the product details page, you'll see everything from product images to dimensions, size tier, prep type, and trade in value, if available. In the offer sections, you can compare FBA, new, and used listings. Icons indicate if Amazon owns the buy box or a specific seller does. And offer conditions are labeled as new, like new, very good, and so on. You'll also find research shortcuts, quick links to tools like Camel, 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 Book Scouter, Google, and Amazon's Restriction Checker. Customize your shortcuts using the pencil icon and even toggle them on or off for use in Scout, Scoutify, or the list page. And if you want to share product info, just use the share button to email details or copy the Scout URL. And that's a quick look at Scout for deep product analysis so you can always make smart buying decisions. Now I'm going to show you how to list and ship your products all in one place using Inventory Lab. Here's how to get started. On the list and prep page in Inventory Lab, click start a batch or tap the plus icon. Fill in the general information and the batch settings. Once you're ready, click start your batch. Next, let's add products to the batch. You can manually search the items by UPC, ASIN, or title, or simply scan the barcode of each product. Add your purchasing and product information to include it in the batch. If you're replenishing a product, Inventory Lab will recognize the item and give you the option to replenish selected. This is a great feature because when replenishing an item, a new row is automatically added to your inventory pages, along with the accounting info. This information is then filtered into all of your reports. 
Now it's time to start boxing your items. Click Start Boxing My Batch to assign your products to boxes. Depending on what you're planning to ship, Amazon may break your batch into different pack groups. You can assign boxes manually or in bulk. Be sure to enter the weight and dimensions for each box. Then click Next. Now it's time to confirm your shipping mode. You can select between SPD or LTL. In this example, we'll move forward with SPD. Then click Confirm Shipping Mode. Next, you'll choose the shipment placement option that you'd like to move forward with. Click the pencil to choose your carrier and select your ship date on the calendar. Once everything looks good, click Confirm Placement. Once the shipping mode is confirmed, it's time to purchase your shipping labels. Review the shipment details and select the checkbox to accept all the fees. Then click Purchase Shipping Labels. Now that your labels are ready, print them directly in Inventory Lab. Click Print Box and Shipping Labels, then attach the labels to your boxes. Once your boxes are labeled, ship them off to Amazon and click Close This Batch. And that's it. You just listed and shipped all your items in one place using Inventory Lab. One of the most powerful parts of Inventory Lab is how it tracks your financials. One of the reports you can access this data from is your profit and loss report. Here, you can see a full breakdown of your income and expenses for any time frame you choose. Here's what to expect from syncing. Sales update every two to three hours. Reimbursements update daily. Other expenses like shipping, storage, and ads sync at each settlement typically every two weeks. You'll also see a timestamp on top of the PNL showing the last date your settlement report reconciled. With access to reports like these, you'll always have a clear view of your accounting and financials. And that's your complete beginner's guide to inventory lab, brought to you by Seller365. You now know how to connect your seller account, add your buy costs in bulk, source products, list and ship your products all in one place, and track your numbers. Thanks for watching. And for more on getting started with Seller365, make sure to save this playlist and subscribe.